Maxwell Anderson, a 33-year-old man, has been arrested and charged in connection with the brutal killing of a pizza shop worker from Wisconsin. The victim, 19-year-old Sade Robinson, was found dismembered after their first date. Anderson, who has a history of criminal offences such as battery and domestic abuse, appeared in court on Friday. Prior to this incident, he worked as a bartender and had also been employed at his father's insurance companies. It is reported that Anderson took Robinson, who is 14 years younger than him, to a seafood restaurant where he had previously worked. Additionally, Anderson was a former high school football star and had moved to a luxurious $1.4 million apartment in Florida several years ago while his son remained in Wisconsin. Maxwell Anderson, 33, is accused of killing Robinson the night of their first date before dismembering her, going through tremendous effort to cover up the alleged crime. Sade Robinson, 19, disappeared on April 1st after spending an evening on a first date in Milwaukee. Only her leg has been found, and cops ruled that evidence suggests she is deceased. Anderson is currently facing charges of murder, arson, and mutilating a corpse. His involvement came to light when it was discovered that he had met up with Robinson for a first date on the night she disappeared. The following day, she was reported missing after failing to show up for work at a pizza shop, which raised concerns among her colleagues. Her manager, Justin Romano, mentioned that her absence was unusual as they had been trying to reach her all day. Subsequently, the Milwaukee Fire Department responded to a vehicle fire where they found Robinson's burnt Honda Civic. Pieces of her ripped jeans, white shirt and charred phone were also recovered at the scene. Additionally, a human leg was discovered at Warnemont Park, which had been severed just below the hip. The leg was identified through DNA testing as belonging to Robinson, a 19-year-old black female with pink nail polish on her toes. Further remains, including a foot and what seemed to be human flesh, were found in various locations in Milwaukee in the following days. Body parts, including a leg confirmed as belonging to Robinson, were found at several locations around Milwaukee after her disappearance. Phone records found Robinson had texted her date that she was feeling seafood hours before she was last seen alive. Her phone was then tracked to Anderson's home and a park where her leg was found. Anderson had previously worked for two of his father's insurance companies. He had recently been working as a bartender, where those that knew him said he had a creepy and weird vibe. Anderson owns a criminal history, including charges for battery and domestic abuse. The alleged killer was previously a star high school football player on his varsity team. An examination of phone records focused on the night Robinson disappeared, revealing that she had initially messaged Anderson about their date, mentioning that she was feeling seafood. Anderson had previously worked at the restaurant, and a bartender there mentioned that he had come to pick up a W-2 form, but informed others that he was there for a first date. Surveillance footage captured the pair dining at the restaurant, and a location-sharing app between Robinson and her mother indicated that Robinson then visited a nearby sports bar before heading to Anderson's residence in Milwaukee. The phone last pinged in the park where the leg was found. Investigators searched Anderson's home on April 4th, discovering blood on a bed and walls leading to his basement, as detailed in the court, filing against him. Several gasoline canisters were located in the basement, and Anderson was apprehended later that day during a traffic stop. Authorities stated on Friday that they were still probing a motive for the alleged murder, with the remainder of Robinson's remains still missing. Anderson is presently being held on a $5 million bail. During a press conference, Milwaukee County Assistant District Attorney Ian Vance Curzon mentioned that Anderson had gone to great lengths to eliminate any evidence of Robinson. The details outlined in this complaint lead the complainant to believe that the defendant deliberately killed and then dismembered Robinson in an attempt to conceal the murder 
and this took place between the time of arrival at the defendant's residence and his departure from the Warnermont Park area, the complaint concluded. Robinson was scheduled to graduate from Milwaukee Area Technical College and had aspirations of pursuing a career in criminal justice as per a GoFundMe page. On the other hand, Anderson identified himself as a bartender on social media, although his previous employers listed online were two insurance companies established by his father. He was reportedly designated as a manager at a New Berlin, Wisconsin branch of his father's companies, Anderson's Insurance Age.